video I wanted to talk to you about three or four of my personal favorite wildflowers that you should be thinking about planting in your own garden to attract uh, or provide nectar for early emerging insects such as hairy-footed flower bees, uh, brimstone butterflies, small tortoiseshell and peacock butterflies, um, dark-edged bee flies for example, all the kind of first emerging insects and queen bumblebees of course who are looking for that first source of nectar once they've come out of hibernation. Now if we start off with the quintessential, everybody will know it, uh, wild primrose, it's such a fantastic little wildflower, uh, prefers well-drained settings but it will grow in damp situations as well, uh, one that I think every wildlife garden should, should uh, contain uh, and a real favourite for, for bees. Um, alongside that, another favourite, slightly later flowering but um, another spring flower, of course the cowslip, what garden would be complete without one? And again, these are species that you could really look to include within a nectar lawn if you've got a part of the garden that you wish to convert to a nectar lawn, you're fed up of mowing it, for example. Uh, you can plant these in there and they will flower to real low, really low height. So uh, they're great, or they will, they will um, thrive through uh, regular mowing throughout the spring season if you wish to do so. Uh, and this is kind of a double whammy in this pot. Um, we've got some lungwort, or pulmonaria you may know it as, has this fantastic uh, sort of spotted leaf which um, again really really good bee plant that one is but it's in with uh, a hellebore which is another shade loving uh, specialist and again you can get these in various shades and colours kind of sort of deep dark sort of maroons and pinks uh, almost sort of greens and whites as well so a lovely flower for uh, a herbaceous border uh, and those really are four of my quintessential what I would say spring flowers that you should be looking to plant in a nectar border so hopefully that's given you some inspiration and uh, you can go out there and get some and get them in your own garden.